Um, hi, Sarah Ducharme here. I'm the Director of Library Services here at Colegio Roosevelt. I've shared this presentation with you, but I'm going to narrate it in case you would like a little bit more information along the way. Um, the, the first slide here is a video showing the space as it is now, and I filmed that for um, a, a preview for a, uh, a virtual meeting with one of the library designers. So you're welcome to look at it, but if you're already familiar with the library, you may not need to see that. The concept of what needs to happen when the elementary leaves uh, the existing uh, library is that we want to create a more teen-friendly, production-centered uh, space. The space we have now is not that flexible. We don't have ways to um, provide quiet for a class or a meeting. We also don't have ways to seal off um, busier, busier activities like collaborative work. Um, we also have a lot of expertise and equipment in the library around film and sound, and we want to see more of those kinds of activities happening in the library where we also have uh, staff who know about those, those kinds of tools. So the overall concept is to make it more modern, more flexible, and um, more of a, a hub kind of a feel. Uh, just a few pictures showing some of the, the things that I've been looking at to inspire the, the ideas. This project has been two years in the making as we've been thinking about what will happen with the library over, over time. And now that the school has decided to keep the library in its existing space um, for a relatively short amount of time, not rebuild and not, um, you know, not change that building, but actually move the library to another space, the focus has been on what can we do in our existing space for a relatively low cost uh, and have a high impact. So here's an example of some glass walls, um, the flexible furniture that kids can kind of drag around. Uh, the booths in the commons have been very popular. I like this graphic uh, kind of style that we can add to the, to the top areas of the room. And this I had just as a kind of a fun idea of, as a room divider. These are the tables that we're actually going to end up getting or something close to these, the flip top whiteboard uh, tables and more of this kind of uh, production hub kind of inspiration. So the library right now is three distinct areas and we're going to rebrand those areas. One as a kind of a quiet or classroom side, one as a production side, and one uh, area as a lounge. The quiet side right now is a big uh, open space. It's, it's packed um, at certain times of the day. Um, there's some fixed shelving there that you can see here. That would all move and we would pull that out away from the windows and put it in different places around the room. And along these windows here, overlooking the grade 9 lockers, we'd like to put a tall standing counter um, with some stools. There are lots of plugs along that wall already. Um, going on, the, the kind of furniture that we're looking at for the quiet side would accommodate a classroom. It would also be good for large meetings. So we right now have the high school faculty or the middle school faculty using the library for its meetings and we'd like to be able to um, close that off with the glass walls to make it quiet um, and also be able to move all the furniture uh, quickly and easily. The other thing that we have happening there sometimes are different fairs, like a book fair or um, the, the CAS fair. And so we'd like to have stackable chairs, not rolling, so that we can, again, get them up and out of the way. This table here, the, the standing puzzle table, we have changed, uh, and we're going to do the counter instead. Um, these wooden chairs we've changed to be a, a hard uh, plastic. And the tables that you see here will be a rectangular shape, not trapezoids. They roll on one side and they also stack. So this is VS's uh, kind of rudimentary drawing. Lots of things are not shown here, but it gives you a sense of, of the space. Um, 
I think I've covered everything. The only thing here is that we have some sofas already in this area and we just recover them so they would fit with the, uh, the new furniture. On the production side, um, it's right now what we're calling the elementary library. All of the books that you see there would move and we would hope to put a glass wall in front of this space that would open and close. So again, we could seal it off if noisy things were happening or um, seal it off if quiet things were happening. And on this side, we picture more of a collaborative workspace, uh, kind of a low-tech makerspace idea with big industrial tables made by the school where kids could spread out and work with construction paper and glue and things like that. The furniture from VS is all very flexible. These dividers are an important part of this space. So they're whiteboard on one side and fabric on the other so you can tack things up. Um, they come in, in we, we ended up getting the two panel dividers to make them even more flexible. Um, the whiteboard tables are a, a really fun part of this room. This whole tabletop flips up so you can use it as a, as a board. Um, and also these, go these uh, puzzle standing tables, we got rid of these on this side as well and opted for a more um, large, kind of big rectangular table, very similar to the one that is currently in the, in the tech um, hub in the commons. So everything on this side <clears throat> is, is movable very easily. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, here again is, is VS's drawing of, of how the space could be used. Everything is so flexible that it would really be centered on how students and small groups wanted to use the space. But the dividers would be important so that we can kind of close off a little area if somebody's needing to do um, some work with sound or video. We can put a portable green screen up on one side that you can roll around the room to different places. This whole wall here would be open to the current AV department and that is where we have already um, video cameras, still digital photography, tripods, and even more important, our own film editing expert who does all the filming for the school. This is a better uh, picture from VS of, of how things would look with the glass wall. It's set up right now in a very traditional way, but I imagine the kids would pull this all different ways to make it suit their needs. Another view of that. The next area is quite large, and that's the, the circulation area and what we would call the lounge area. This circulation desk we would like to cut down uh, it doesn't need to be that large, and we'd like to move it. We'd like to recapture this natural lit, naturally lit area as a lounge space. Along this wall here, we'd like to put some booths. And um, this whole area has lots of plugs, so that would be a good workspace. Um, what we see now when we come into the library is a kind of a lot of messiness. We can keep this lounge concept, but move all of this messiness um, kind of to the back. This here is a big glass wall that we'd like to take out. There's another glass wall, a short one over here as a divider. We'd like to take those out and open up this space. So in the lounge area we have, um, I'll just go ahead so you can see the soft furniture. This would all come in the same color, dark gray, and we would get several different kinds of pieces so that we can mix and match and, and set these up in different ways. They all have this um, kind of shiny silver frame at the bottom so it all will match. And these benches we've also changed to be the same so that they are all in the same line. These benches that you see here would be the, the booths that would make the, the booth uh, concept. Um, and then we have different kinds of tables. This would be a rectangular table that would go into the booths. We have different uh, size coffee tables to go in and around the soft furniture. We would keep these um, tall puzzle tables. And these would be in a couple of different places in the lounge as a kind of a landing spot. So we have often parents come in, they, they pop open their laptop and they're waiting just for you know a few minutes. Um, so it's, it's a nice place to just kind of 
have a quick check-in. And then the um, hockey stools in dark gray to be able to pick up and move in, in different places. We picture the stools, these stools and the cloud stools from the other space would kind of end up in all different places in the library mixed and matched. Um, this is how VS has drawn it now. It's I think three times this size. It's a much larger space than what they've shown here. The circulation desk would be back over here, closer to the entrance, and that would allow the circulation um, assistants to see both sides of the room. Their sight lines would be much better. Um, also not shown here, we have some sofas already that we will sprinkle around in this uh, space. Uh, we can relocate some of our computers that were over here. We can put them um, over kind of where they are already on the elementary side. Um, students still, still do use uh, desktop computers for um, coming in to print things quickly. And the other space that we are um, talking about is the hub. It's two small rooms. We have right now a professional development center, which is also where Jeff Rosen's office is. It has one table. And then this other side of the hub has also one table. And teachers come in and eat their lunch there. They have uh, quick meetings. And pretty much we just want to add a few more tables to that space to make it a little bit more uh, usable. These are some links that will take you to uh, the catalog and products and so forth. There's quite a bit of work that we can do locally to make this all happen. Uh, Jorge's team has already priced out everything that we can do locally, including installing the glass walls, recovering some furniture, um, getting some area carpets, um, dismantling some things, making some things. Um, these makerspace tables we have already in the school in a couple of different places. We have them in the tech hub and we have them in the design room. Um, if anybody wanted to go take a look at them, they're really cool. They're basically a big whiteboard um, framed up as a table and they have um, nice large industrial wheels on the bottom. So they have kind of a cool teen uh, feel. Uh, so that is, that is all that I wanted to narrate. You have the whole thing to go through at your own pace as well. If you have any questions, please email me. I'm sducharm, no e, at amersall.edu.pe. Um, Thanks very much.